God is not concerned about who you are. God is not concerned about what you do. God is concerned about his plan and his purpose for your life. There is nothing that you can do that can abort the call of destiny on your life. There is nothing that you can do that can stop God from loving you enough to pull you out of your pit and put you in a place of destiny. There is nothing that you can do that will stop God from saying, that is my child, because whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed into the image of his son. Do not worry that God doesn't love you. Do not worry that God is, is, is out to get you. God isn't out to get you. God is out to give you more than you could ever imagine. God is for you. God is not against you. You need to realize that the things that you go through do not mean that God doesn't love you. Many of the major ministries that started, started in a place of pain. The, the, Kenneth Hagin started out in his bed not able to move and he only could move his little finger. But he moved that little finger over that Bible and he started reading that Bible and God... Uh, uh, announced to him that he was going to be in the ministry just by giving him back his life. That was God's calling card for Smith Wigglesworth. When he was, when he was in the ministry, he had to go through a, a period when he was being cleansed of anger. And that period of being cleansed of anger, he got on his knees and he went around the, the church clapping and, and, and speaking in baby tongues. So you need to know that God isn't concerned about what you look like to other people. God isn't concerned about what you look like to your family. God isn't concerned about what you look like to your friends. When God gets ready to move in your life, he is coming for you. And many times he is going to isolate you. He's going to put you in a place where nobody wants to be around you. He's going to put you in a place where nobody understands you. He's going to put you in a place where the only person you have in this life is him. And in that place, he begins to prepare your destiny. He begins to birth in you. What is necessary to get you to the next place and the next plateau in your life. If you want to be on the mountain, get ready to go through the valley. If you want to be on the mountain, get ready to go through pain. If you want to be on the mountain, get ready to go through the places no one else is willing or able to go through. Because the ministries that you're seeing on TV, 99% of them are probably birthed in their pain. The men and women of God that you see on TV, 99% of them are probably birthed in a period or a place where God has to get them along. Now these are the fathers. The children will come along in another type and they're, they're the inheritors of the promised land. So when you see a child who has um, inherited a ministry, a lot of times they're not birthed in the pain. They are birthed in the pain of a parent that made it to the promised land and they allowed their children to take over. So th there are two types of ministries out there. The ones where God has to call you and you are going through pain. There are ministries out there where he calls you and then the pain begins. And there are some ministries, I'm not going to say 99%, but a good deal of it. A good deal of the ministries out there today are birthed in the pain of the promise. They're birthed in the pain of the promise. That means they're birthed in the valley and they reach the mountaintop, but only because they were faithful in the valley to just, just do what God said to get out. God will tell you that the only way out is in ministry. And if you believe him, you will get out. You will come out. 
and you will do what God has said he will, he will do. He's going to do it just because he said it. But some people, he's going to do it just because he said it. He's looking at your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your great-great-grandmother. He's looking at their pains. He's looking at their promises. He's looking at, at everything that he has promised them that is birthing through their womb into yours. A lot of times, prophetic ministries and any kind of ministry is a generational ministry. Aaron had a generational ministry. There are children of Aaron today who are still rabbis. So we just need to know that God has not given up on you. He's not given up on your destiny. He's right here for you. Just believe him. Believe him in the hard time. Believe and hold on to the fact that you have a great grandmother who went through the valley so that you could get out and make it to the mountaintop. You got to get from the place of pain to the place of purpose. So that is the end of that. Just keep going. Keep going. Don't let go. Don't let go of God's unchanging hand. Because he's not letting go of you.